Some things you see on the internet look so convincing, it's hard to know what to trust. That's what we're here for. Check out this email sent to Maisie Holland, one of our viewers from the district. Big money, it promises. But Maisie wasn't falling for it. Half suspicious that the email could contain malware, half hoping that she was a millionaire, Maisie reached out to verify. The email was offering me a grant for $2 million from the Julie Leach, L-E-A-C-H Foundation. I collected whatever information I could and sent it to Verify WSA and ask your help. I'm asking your help. Thank you so very much. We're here for you, Maisie. Now, I, I know that you're all skeptical already, but follow me down the rabbit hole here, okay? Julie Leach is a real millionaire. In fact, she won a $310 million Powerball jackpot in 2015 in Michigan. But does a foundation in her name exist? Ah, right off the bat, wrong. We can verify. This is false. The email is bogus. A quick Google search brings us to the forums claiming the Julie Leach Foundation is an email scam intended to steal sensitive financial information from you. Well, before distributing the money, the scammers say they need your name your address, your cell number, your passport or driver's license. Yeah, you, you get the gist. So we tried calling Julie to see if she knew about this scam. We even tried calling her relatives, but all of their lines are disconnected. Now the FBI warns people that if you are ever receiving an email claiming you won a lottery you never entered or are asking you to transfer funds, not to fall for the trap. FBI cyber specialist Matthew Drake spoke to Verify researcher Ileana Block to explain why people fall for these scams. Everybody likes free money. I mean, this is, you know, you get things, and sometimes it's not as straightforward as, you know, hey, here, I have $5,000 for you, I'd like to send it to you. I think most people would recognize there's something going on there. Special Agent Drake says if there's free money out there, he would have found it by now because he spends a lot of time on the Internet. Which brings us to our favorite tagline. If it looks too good to be true, don't be an idiot. Don't fall for it. How about just don't fall for it? I had to take it to the next level. I know you did. I'm just, as your big sister, trying to help smooth some of those rough edges just a little bit. I